Hi everyone, I thought I would make a quick video on the difference between um, the sidereal and tropical calendars um, put onto this annual planner for a visual kind of understanding of how these two layers of cycles um, kind of work together. You know, do you use the tropical calendar? Do you use the sidereal calendar? Personally, I use the sidereal calendar now. But before I knew about that, I was actually using the tropical calendar. And um, I just want to show you here, like, the pattern, essentially. <laughs> so here we've got the um, Science of Light Vedic Planner, which is a sidereal calendar based on Vedic astrology. And this is what I've been using um, in my online course to take people through exercises to get used to calculating these um, loony solar calendar systems and how that all relates into your zodiac sign and your sacred secretion times. But anyway, let's look at the calendar and I just want to plug in all of these and then we're going to see the pattern revealed. I'm going to do one in blue and one in red, one for the tropical and one for the sidereal using my example of my sun sign because it does actually change when I move from um, tropical to sidereal. So here on January the 15th, the moon enters Libra and that is actually my sidereal sign, but in the tropical calendar, oh, different color, <laughs> in the tropical calendar, I'm actually a Scorpio. So you can see there the difference between one sun sign is about one, two, three days, 2.1 days, 2.5 days, three days. So let's plug it in and start revealing the pattern. January the 15th, I'm not gonna do times. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do from Libra to Scorpio. And then, Scorpio to January 19th, Sagittarius. So that there is the tropical, and that there is the sidereal. So I'm going to go through all of the months. Okay, so to summarize, you can see this pattern forming as the sun and the moon move throughout the year. And the difference between the sidereal and the tropical is basically a 2.1 to 3 day window of time, the time in the tomb. <clears throat> and I find this really interesting, like um, when I started doing the sacred secretion practice spontaneously, it just all started happening, I was paying attention to the tropical calendar um, in my life as a general Gregorian calendar, you know, linear experience of calendars. Um, and and so that experience led me into um, this research and, and writing the books about Ireland and, and the greater um, metaphysical and alchemy observations that I've been presenting in this work. And I did notice, and I have been noticing along the practice of the sacred secretion while I was using the tropical calendar, I was noticing that I would get an energetic surge kind of feeling before these times and dates. And so then when I got into, you know, using the sidereal calendar and switching from this blue mode into the red mode, it made more sense because the 
energetic amplification feeling I was receiving was actually because, for example, if I was paying attention to this, but I was feeling something before it occurred, it means that I was already in this window. So this is how the tropical and the sidereal calendars kind of overlap in the practice. If you start on the sidereal, because what I'm teaching is actually lasting for a whole seven days, you've actually got the tropical calendar within your seven days of creation. Now we can stop thinking about that. It's not an issue. <laughs> Subscribe right away several times. Subscribe your wife. Also the kids, they'll thank you in old age.